okay and here both have negative value so now it becomes a positive final answer 31 by 3 that is it now there is a second question limit x tends to 2 in bracket 2 divided by x minus 2 minus 4 divided by x square minus 2x now here there is no factorization again here there is no factorization but there is a common value that is x so limit x tends to 2 in bracket 2 divided by x minus 2 minus 4 in bracket here the common is x so in bracket if I am removing x from these two values then it becomes x minus 2 got it? so now if we want to solve this then there is LCM that is x and x minus 2 while in outer side there is no change x tends to 2 and here there is LCM x and x minus 2 so now if I want to multiply with this then here in denominator there is x minus 2 but there is no x so multiplication of 2 into x it becomes 2x while here in denominator of 4 there is x and x minus 2 both the values so no need to add anything now in numerator there is a common value 2 limit x tends to 2 in denominator it is x x minus 2 and here the common value is 2 and in bracket it is x minus 2 because 2 is a common factor so here the bracket value that is x minus 2 so now if I am cutting x minus 2 from numerator and denominator so what is the final remaining value that is 2 divided by x so now instead of x if I am putting 2 then we can say that 2 divided by instead of x there is 2 so 2 divided by 2 final answer 1 again simple but this is called LCM method where we have taken here LCM and remaining thing is as it is cutting down the common value then put the value of limit and find the answer. Now, third one. Question number 13 from your textbook. Limit x tends to 3, x raised to 6, minus 7, 29. In denominator, x raised to 4, minus 81. So now, limit x tends to 3. So first of all we want to understand that here the x raised to 4 minus 81. So what are the factorization of x raised to 4 minus 81? Okay. So we can say that x raised to 4 means square of square. 2 into 2 it becomes the 4. Square of square. And 81. Under root of 81 is 9. So we can say that 9 square. Here x square minus under root method x square minus 9 x square plus 9. Factorization x square minus 9 x square plus 9. There is no further factorization for plus 9. But yes, for minus 9 again there is factorization. We 
Here x square minus 9. So we can say that x minus 3 to x plus 3. For x square minus 9, x minus 3, x plus 3. While x square plus 9 remains as it is. So in denominator, instead of x raised to 4 minus integral, we can say that x minus 3, x plus 3 and x square plus 9. Understood? First of all, it is 4 times root. For 4 times square, so convert it into 2 times by applying under root method. Then after again applying under root method, where the sign is negative. But for positive signs, there is no factorization. So this all is the answer that I have put it into denominator. Now for numerator. Then we can see that x raised to 6 minus 7 to 9. So again if I am applying this square method, then we can say that if there is x raised to 6, then x raised to 3 raised to 6. So here 3 to the 6. So here whenever we are putting here 6, then we can write here 3 and out of bracket it is 2. But you cannot write like 2 raised to 3. Because if I am applying under root method, then out of bracket there is a sign of square. So there is compulsory string thing. Here there is 3 and out of bracket it is 2. Now 729. So when what is under root of 729? It is 27. So square of 27 becomes the 729. Now if I am applying the same method, x cube minus 27 and x cube plus 27. Understood? Here the sign of square and we apply the method of under root where there is one negative sign and one is positive. So here it is x cube minus 27, x minus 3. Now cube root method. Cube root method x minus 3. The cube root of 27 is 3. x minus 3. Square of first value. Here the sign is negative, so it becomes a positive multiplication of this 3x plus square of 3, 9. So, this is the simplification of only for x cube minus 27. But what about the x cube plus 27? Again, here it is a multiplication for x cube plus 27, x plus 3. In bracket x square minus 3x plus 9. All the values are same, but the changes is only in sign. Here it is negative, positive, positive, negative. It remains the same. So now instead of x raised to 6 minus 729, we have to write x minus 3. x square plus 3x plus 9 third bracket x plus 3 and fourth bracket x square minus 3x plus 9 so this is the full simplification of this factorization so here there is 6 times, so we applied first under root method, then applied cube root method and this is the full simplification. Whereas here there is 4 times, so applied under root method for first time then same as for second time. Okay, so only these types of factorizations are quite tricky. 
Whereas if you know the factorization, then this is this portion is very simple. How? First of all, cut x minus 3 from denominator and numerator. Cut x plus 3 from denominator and numerator. So what is the remaining value? x square plus 3x plus 9. x square minus 3x plus 9. Whereas in denominator, x square plus 9. So now, instead of x, I am putting the value of limit, that is 3. So here, sign of the first sum, x square. So 3 square plus 3 in bracket, instead of x, 3 plus 9. This is for first bracket. Now same I am applying for second bracket 3 square minus 3 in bracket 3 plus 9 divided by x square plus 9 3 square plus 9 So here 3 square is 9 plus 9 plus 9 It becomes 27 9 plus 9 plus 9 27 Whereas in second bracket 3 square 9 again 9 but here positive 9 negative 9 cut so final is 9 in numerator 3 square 9 9 plus 9 18 here 9 here 18 so final answer is 27 divided by 2 for this factorization. So, if you see the question, it looks like very simple. But whenever we have simplification for this factorization, it becomes quite heavy. But overall, the sum is simple. Okay? So, finally, we have completed three different types of sum, simple sum for LCM method, quite tricky sum and finally I am ending this session as well as we completed this chapter, chapter number 4, limit. Okay, so now if you have any doubts, please contact here. Thank you.